Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Pillay. Today we're going to be looking at a lesson in design and technology and it's linked with our topic. We are going to be creating our own drum. First, you need to design your drum. So take a page and draw a picture of what you would like your drum to look like. I've got a few examples here, but yours could look totally different. How would you decorate your drum? Think about what you think you may need from looking at the drums in the pictures. Write down all the things, all the materials that you think you may need. So, what would you need to make your drum? You could use a container. So it could be a metal tin, maybe a baby formula tin, empty one, or some of the recyclable tins mom might have at home or a cylindrical cardboard container, maybe like a Pringles tube. One might have something that's a little bit wider, just to give you different sounds. You may use balloons for some types and rubber bands. You may need a wide roll of cello tape or something similar. You definitely need a pair of scissors. And then you need a pair of pencils, something similar for the drumsticks, so you can make your music. Once you've collected your materials, it is now time to create. Now I've got three links for you that you can use to go to and see how to create your own drum. This drum here is created with a cylindrical cardboard tube, balloons and rubber bands. So the balloons are the top parts there that cover this, the, the openings and the rubber bands goes around to secure it. And you do that on both ends. I'm really interested in this one, the Tyco drum. You definitely need an adult to help you because it's made with a car tire and it's just car tire with cello tape on either side and some other tape over the middle and you've got a nice big drum there. This one I think is the simplest drum you could make. So you need a cylindrical container. It could be cardboard, it could be metal, and you just need some cello tape. And all you've got to do is take the cello tape and cover the end of it. And if you watch the video, you'll see what kinds of different containers that use and the different sounds that it makes. So have a go, try one at least. Maybe, why don't you have a go and try all of them? Once you've finished made your drum, I would like you to challenge yourself now. Can you write the instructions for how you made your drum? Remember to write a list of the materials you use to make your own drum. Have you played some music on your drum now? Why don't you try to make a different type of drum now? Maybe each member of your family could make and decorate a different type of drum. Listen out to the different sound each drum makes and have lots of fun making music together. So till next time, take care and stay safe.